All right, we're in the yard practicing again. This is Vesper. How old are you? Seven. Who who are you? <laughs> are you my little girl? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. We're going over some shot placements and doing some practicing with her crossbow because she's not strong enough yet to pull enough weight on her, on her real bow. So this is something that needs to be done. We just went over some shot angles and where she would aim at if, if I tell her to kill that deer and aim back a little bit at a quarter and away shot. And we're just going to do some shooting so you can see how good she's getting. And we're going to do this at 20 yards. We'll move back to 30 and we'll go up in the tower for some shots. Yeah. This is the crossbow kit I got. These are Carbon Express pile driver bolts. The crossbow, this is a nice little kit and this thing's super quiet. I couldn't believe it when we first shot it. This is a RM360 Pro. It's made by Rocky. It has an adjustable uh, stock. And this is what it all comes with, This the scope it comes with, and I was actually thinking about just getting a red dot scope, but she seems to be okay with the extra uh, crosshairs on there. Uh, mill dots, couldn't think of the name. So we have this dialed in at 20 yards. And this is a good little crossbow that kids can learn on. And especially if you have a disability or something, they're nice and light and smooth. So on this, this has a little string cotton groove on the very back back here. So you put and it you right there. put your hooks upside down on it, which I'm going to stand up and put my foot in there. It might be a little hard to pull back if you're not if you deaf. Put your foot in there, and when it locks, it puts itself on safety. But you still always want to never trust the safety because it can fail. So I have this set up for her. I have a little cheek piece set to where it uh, fits her short face. And the stock is all the way forward. This can adjust to fit anybody. So are you ready to take some shots? Yes! Okay. okay. So it's cocked and it's in the tripod. It comes with moon knocks. Of course, it's common sense. The string goes in the knot. White feather down in the rail. Make sure you don't cut your fingers off. So, I'm gonna watch, let you guys watch her shoot the crossbow here, and then we'll do a rear view. So, are, are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, um, that doe right there, mm -hmm. the doe target that's standing up, mm -hmm. I want you to shoot her in the heart, okay? I told you where the heart is. I want you to follow that leg up and put it right through the heart, okay? Okay, now you take your time. It's off safety. Get super steady, Stink. When you're ready to shoot, take a deep breath and let it out slow, okay? And then squeeze the trigger off. And I want you to bring home some deer burgers. That would be dead center through the heart. Is that right where you were aiming? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Was that pretty fun shooting this? Yeah. It's pretty easy, ain't it? Yeah. I know. Well, do you think you'll want to kill a deer with your real big bow someday? Yeah. That's going to be a little bit harder. Yeah. Are you going to use the side or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're going to have a sight on your bow? Mm -hmm. Not on my yellow bow. Oh, your recurve, you don't want to have one? No. But on my pink bow, I think. That's okay. As long as you make a good shot on the deer, because you don't want to wound them, do you? Mm -hmm. You want to kill them as quick as possible. Yeah. So okay. Get ready. Okay. Let me pop it off safety and then I want you to shoot that buck in the heart, okay? Or no, hey, just go for the coyote this time. Okay. Tell me when you're ready and I'll zoom in on the coyote a little bit. Steady, Stink, remember to breathe easy and be still. Perfect shot. You're aiming right there for the heart, ain't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, now 
we're gonna do something a little different. Going 30 yards or up in the top? Hey, this time I want you to put your arrow on that big buck through both of his lungs, okay? Do you know where his lungs are? I don't really know. Is it? In front of that red spot a little. Yep. Yep. Remember the heart sits low, but both lungs are around the heart. Like if that's his heart. Well, here. This is a lung. If you're shooting his heart this way, the lungs are on each side. Remember, big airbags right here. Your heart's almost in the middle. So look, look, just big. feel this. You're shooting their heart right there. Low behind the shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. Just come up a little bit. Come up a little bit and just a touch back. Anywhere in there, you're gonna get your deer, okay? But on a real deer, you don't, you don't need to shoot that low for the heart, okay? I want you to double lung them. Go, go just to the left of that red dot on that buck, okay? What? You see it? Mm -hmm. Yep. You put your little crossbow arrow through the through them lungs. He's gonna crash. Hi. Okay. Tell me. Tell me when you're ready. Cause I'm your camera guy. Remember. Say. Oh, you didn't tell me, did you? You hit a little bit left. It looks like, but you still would have got your deer. Okay. That coyote, you would have cut his heart in half right there. And that doe, you got him perfect. Now where do you want to go? Um, you want to go up in the tower? Tower. All right, I guess we're going up. Okay, Vesper. Ready. Okay, first, I know this is about 28 yards. I want you to use your, your number one X on there, okay? What? That's how, the, it's tight quarters up here, so I'm just gonna squat. The, your top standard 20 yard X, your crosshair, I just call that number one. That's what Vesper knows. Well, I drew a picture for her so she knows. And the next, uh, mill dot marked down is number two. It's real simple and it, that's what we do, ain't it? Yeah, for 20 time. and 30 yards. Yep. Here. It's yeah. ready to fire. Don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready. All right, Stink. Center of the lungs. Put that number two mark on that buck's lungs, okay? A little bit high left. I try, I try to get it on. It's okay, that's why we're practicing. Oh. Okay, I'm out of I'm out of arrows for you. Alright, Stink, get steady on that big buck. You hit him a little bit low, and it looks like you're messing with buttons. Everything's blurry. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I'm um, shoot my crossbow at 30 yards and then we're going to move on to my yellow bow. What is your yellow bow? A recurve. You are? Mm-hmm. Are you going to shoot it with your fingers and no sight? Okay. Look at all the birds back there. Them two white chickens are always real curious. We got, we got seven little runner ducks. They're babies. There's two mallards in there with them. What? One chicken was clear on the... And the little ducks, they go right through that net. Mm -hmm. But I don't want the big ones out right now because we're out here shooting and them suckers crap all over the yard. There's little landmines everywhere that you step in. And there's some black chickens in there. And a duck trying to... And those two, they'll shoot right through that fence too. Vesper, go walk towards them and see if you can push them back up there. Uh, uh, uh. 
they, they, they pop right through there. That one's getting a little caught up. There he goes. Did it. You better stay in there. All right, monkey. Okay. Let's do some 30 yard shots with your crossbow. And then you can take a break for the day. But you've been doing pretty good. Okay, we're ready at 30 yards. Vesper, those deer are perfectly broadside. They're sideways, okay? So you follow that front leg up and shoot them dead center through the lungs. Okay, so do I use my first one or second? They're 30 yards, so use your number two mark, okay? And shoot that doe all the way on the right. Okay? Real steady. Put number two right in the lungs. Perfect shot, Stink. Got him good, didn't you? Yep. All right, sister, here's your last shot of the day. You want to shoot the coyote? Yeah. All right, use number two, Mark. Put it on him, all right? Breathe easy and, and don't move when you shoot. Follow through. Oh, just a tad bit low, but you would have ripped him open. We're going to put on them big Rage 2 blades. This crossbow packs some energy, don't it? That'll slice and dice him. You practicing? So, how far is that bunny? So, oh, the, you're, you're, you're aiming at that bunny? So, how far would it be? Would to... That bunny is probably 35 or 30. I, I'm going to guess about 35 yards. So would I use one of the lines? You would, you would take your number two mark and put it just barely above his back, like up where the peak of his ears are. You'd hold just a little bit above him and you would get him. Can I try that? Well, you can't right now. Why? Can you tell me why we can't shoot a bunny right now? Well, they have babies all the time, but, but why? Remember, there's bunny seasons, ain't there? Yeah. Rabbit season don't open till November. So we got to let that bunny get nice and fat so we can throw him on the smoker, don't we? Yeah, but Dad a little bit lets me shoot some bunnies, but I don't get them. And we plant clover and stuff and fatten them bunnies up. They're happy now, ain't they? Mm -hmm. And they're no. All right, now what, what, now what you want to do? Yellow bow. All right. Okay. We're back with my yellow recurve. You got your yellow recurve. Here, here's what's cool about this little yellow recurve. First, my dad shot this when he was a little boy. I shot it a ton when I was little at pop bottles and every, everything and anything. And now Vesper's shooting it. Yeah. This is from Bear Archery in Grayling, Michigan. It's a 15 pounds at 24 inch draw yellow fox, 48 inches long. Yeah, we're gonna shoot the turkey and then maybe go. This over. bow has been around and Vesper's gap shooting it without sights, ain't you? Yeah. All right. And without Here, I'll get right behind you so they can watch. Here, you take a shot, you shoot that turkey, and then I'm gonna get a different angle, okay? Whenever you're ready, monkey, hold steady. Good shot, Stink. Your arrow just bounced off. You hit it a lit, just a little bit high. You would have sliced him up. Okay. We're all about hunting shots, ain't we? Yep. We don't worry about them score rings. Yeah. All right, now I'm just gonna video you shooting and I want you to, there's some bags of clothes, old ones, not even worth nothing. I'm gonna set them suckers on fire. Okay. There's Vern. At, here, it lets you, look how big Vern is. Yeah. Hi, Vern. <whistles> All right, monkey, show them how you shoot, okay? So you Hold nice and steady. Get 
Did you miss him or did you get him? Should we show him or no? No, not until I shoot my last arrow. Okay. Nice and steady. Remember what I told you. Good shot. You got two out of three, didn't you? You shot over that turkey one time and hit that log. Well, because I'm, I'm too close. I'm close to it. So I just decided to aim at his feet. Oh, you, you figuring it out, ain't you? Mm -hmm. When you're closer, then you aim lower, don't you? So the farther you go back, the higher you aim. The closer you come, the closer you come. Heck, I didn't know your ears worked. I didn't know you listened to me. That's weird. Now that I know you listen, I'll start telling you more stuff. I always thought they were broke. So, this is probably the farthest you can, the, the closest you can get to anything. Because you don't want it to bounce back and get you. Oh yeah, you don't want to shoot too close because it might bounce back at your face, Ooh. won't it? Alright monkey, go, go get your arrows. Okay, we're just, we're gonna go up here. I'll just follow you. You just shoot a few wherever you want and then we're gonna go eat some, I think mama made some BLTs in there, didn't she? I smell bacon cooking. You tell me what you're going to shoot at, okay? I'm going to shoot at that big buck. Nice and steady. That was a good shot. You're back here like 10 yards, 10, 12 yards. You just hit him a little bit low and it didn't stick. All right, get you another one. The more you shoot, you're going to build your bow muscles up, okay? And we'll be able to get you a heavier recurve if you want one. Or maybe an Oneida. You want one of them? Good shot, Stink. If this was a, a, a big compound, I would have killed it. Yep, you got a lot of practicing to do, but you're doing good. Mm -hmm. One more. Good shot, look at that one. Yeah. Do you want to end the video here? No. Hmm? Next time I'm going to shoot at the coyote. Alright, we're going to take a coyote shot and then we'll probably end it. Okay. What are you going for, sister? Coyote. Got him. A little low. You're shooting that recurve pretty good for a seven year old, ain't you? Good shot. One more. Try to hit your arrow. Hold steady. That was a good one. You're getting better every day, you know what? Mm-hmm. All right. What do you want to tell everybody? This this is the end of the end of Vesper's practicing video. So if you see it's here, just here, look at the camera. Don't be scared of it. No, it, you can't see people in this, but they'll see you when you're when you're on YouTube. <laughs> what do you think? You think everybody should get out there and do some practicing? Yeah, make sure to order a recurve, and if you want an Oneida, you can. Yeah, Oneidas are cool, ain't they? Make sure to get a pellet gun. 22. <laughs> Make sure to get everything you need. Everything you need to go hunting? Mm hmm. That's the, like the best thing on earth, isn't it? Mm hmm. I hope you see me shoot my first deer. Yep, we're going to get you on a video shooting your first deer, ain't we? Mm hmm. This is Hunting Health. And. Yeah, you're with Hunting Health? Yeah. And I, I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> okay. We'll see you guys on the next one, won't we? Mm-hmm.